Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blungo.com and in this video we're going to talk about why I recommended one of my clients switching to Soho CRM. This company was already using a really nice CRM, but after reviewing their processes, the decision was to switch to Zoho CRM. So today I'm going to go over some of the reasons. All right, let's get started. The main reason why we switched was the features available in Zoho CRM that were not available in the other CRM we had. The company was growing and we were in need to automate several actions of the sales process. Otherwise, it was taking too much time to perform all the actions manually, like sending email notifications. At the time, we were using Zapier to automate most of the actions, but it was limited and making changes to the automations was complicated. So having the ability to trigger workflows from the CRM was a game changer. During the sales process, we sent several transactional emails that depend on many variables and Zoho CRM is great for it. Another great feature is functions that let you do things that are not available by default. For example, you can automatically create and assign tasks to the record owner or to a specific user, but that's it. With custom functions, you can assign tasks to users that are selected in a user field. And there are so many other ways to use custom functions. Right before switching to Zoho CRM, we were slowly increasing the budget for online advertising, so more and more leads landed on our website. Web forms were really useful because we added them to our different landing pages and contact pages. When a lead completes the form, the information is added to the CRM automatically. One more feature that caught my attention was Sandbox, that allows you to test changes to the CRM before deploying them. It is great to test everything before it's live, so you don't affect all the users. And the last feature I want to mention is the recycling bin. It gives you a peace of mind in case a record was deleted by mistake. The next reason why we switched to Zoho CRM is because it's really customizable. We were able to add a custom modules to track records that didn't come out of the box. For example, we log all the online reviews we get on a custom module called Reviews. They're linked to the contact profile so you can easily know who left the review. Layouts is another customization feature that we were looking for. Most CRMs allow you to customize the layout, but not on this level of detail. You have a lot of different fields that you can use in your layouts, from basic to advanced. One of the advanced fields that is useful is the formula field that lets you perform calculations based on other fields in the record. For example, we calculate the amount of dates between two dates and then use that number to trigger different workflows. Regarding layouts, you can have multiple layouts that can be assigned to different people and a feature that they recently added is Canva that allows you to completely customize the layout to display the exact information you need. If you're looking to properly set up and customize the CRM, here at Bloomgo, we're working on a Zoho One class where we will teach how to do that with Zoho CRM and other Zoho apps, but more on that later in the video. Another reason why we switch is the amount of integrations available for Zoho CRM. One of the most useful ones is being able to connect Ring Central, our phone over IP system, to the CRM. This way we can see who is calling and some agents choose to answer the phone from the CRM or from the desktop app. It also logs activities under the contacts profile so you can see what time the call was done and more information. Another integration we use on a daily basis is Pandadoc. We send a lot of documents and all the information required in the proposal is transferred from the CRM to the Pandadoc document automatically. There are other CRMs out there that have good integrations as well, but Zoho covers all the needs we have. And after switching to Zoho CRM, we started using other Zoho products like Zoho Projects, Zoho Sales IQ, and Zoho Desk that work really well with the CRM. For example, with Sales IQ, you can gather information about a lead in your website, and if she completes a contact form, all the information will be available in the CRM. Same with Desk. You can see all the tickets from the CRM, so everyone in your organization is on the same page. Having fewer apps and centralizing everything in the same place was another reason why we switched. Zoho CRM has a lot of features that otherwise we would have used multiple apps to accomplish the same. And after implementing and integrating the other Zoho apps, we managed to consolidate most of the processes under the Zoho suite. Also, there are other Zoho apps available that we're not currently using, so there is a lot of potential. When we see the need to start using a new app, we can check the Zoho apps first to take advantage of the integrations. If the app we're looking for is not available, we can check out outside the suite. The last reason why we switched to Zoho CRM is price. Zoho is great value for your money and even better if you get one of the bundles like CRM Plus or Zoho One. The apps work really well and can adapt to pretty much any business. 
In our case, we need a lot of features and customizations, and only a few CRMs in the market can do what Zoho CRM does, but the other ones were more expensive. So those are all the reasons why we switched to Zoho CRM. The company has been using it for over two years now, and they're really happy with it. Also, during this time, we learned a lot about Zoho CRM and set up other features that were not on our original list, like blueprints to make sure that the sales rep followed the sales process, or dashboards to see reports, KPIs, and metrics about the company performance. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please click the like button. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Before I mentioned that we're gonna launch a class on how to set up the most useful Zoho One apps, prioritizing integrations, like making sure the CRM projects and books properly talk to each other. So if you're interested, there is a link in the description where you can find more information. Thanks for watching.